an important information about the examination the examination for fssai central food safety officer and technical officer has been postponed new dates of the examination are 5th september 2020 and 6 september 2020 hello and welcome to crack grade b in this video we will be discussing about canning the topics that we are going to cover are introduction to canning different types of cans general process of canning and the description of each step so let's start with the introduction what is canning canning can be defined as the process of applying heat to sealed containers of food to prevent spoilage for a long time canned foods are commercially sterile canning increases the shelf life of the food the index organism for canning is clostridium botulinum canning is also known as apertization canning was first performed by nicolas apart nicolas apart was a confectioner and he was from france he was awarded by the french government for this method of preservation peter durand obtained the first british patent on canning of foods in tin containers in 1810 some of the characteristics of a can the can should preserve the food and it should protect the food it should be resistant to the chemical action of the product it should give easy and safe opening it should give simple and safe food product removal different types of cans the cans are made up of different materials some of them are glass cans tin plate cans aluminum cans tin free steel cans glass canning glass canning is one of the oldest and is considered as the traditional method of canning advantages the contents are visible to the buyers glass are non reactive in nature they can be reused several times disadvantages they are fragile and can break easily they are heavy in weight and are costly it is difficult to transport them food material gets exposed to light which can damage the food tin plate cans the tin plate cans are made up of steel and tin advantages these are easy to fabricate they are light in weight easy to handle and fairly cheap disadvantage they are prone to mechanical defects they are less appealing to the customers a note crown caps for bottles and lids of glass screw cap containers are also usually made of tin plate aluminum cans aluminum cans are made of aluminum along with manganese and magnesium this gives additional strength to the aluminum as aluminum is having low strength advantages it is cheaper than tin it is non reactive in nature no rusting light in weight disadvantage the strength of aluminum cans is lower adhesives are generally used as seaming is difficult in this type of cans tin free steel cans it is made of steel and chromium advantages the base layer of chromium acts as a corrosion barrier excellent formability and strength prevents rusting ease of fabrication resistant to internal pressure disadvantage it can be a bit pocket pinching classification of cans there are two types of cans two piece can 
and 3p scans 2p scans 2p scans are made from a disk of metal that is reformed into a cylinder with an integral end to become a seamless container 2p scan consists of two components a body integrated with a bottom lead and a lead with a lip and opening two types of 2p scans are these are classified on the body forming method drd and dwi drd stands for draw and redraw scans whereas dwi stands for draw and wall ironing scans three p scans three p scans consist of three components a bottom lead a cylindrical body and a top lead a lead with a lip for a beverage can each component is attached by seaming so that the can body and can leads the top and the bottom are connected cans are sealed by seaming so as to isolate their interior from the outside environment 3p scans are further classified depending on the body joining method rolling and joining a rectangular flat plate into a cylindrical body into welded cans welding by thermal bonding and soldered cans bonding by soldering this is the image of a 3p scan and this is the image of a 2p scan an important term that we shouldn't miss out while discussing on canning is lacquering of cans the content of the can can react with the walls of the container and can cause discoloration of the product or it can cause corrosion to the cans so it is necessary to coat the interior of the cans with some material like a lacquer which would prevent this discoloration and wouldn't impart its flavor which can spoil the contain the process of this coating of can is called lacquering there are two types of lacquer acid resistant and sulfur resistant internal coating eliminates the food metal interaction while the external coating protects the can from abrasion and corrosion general canning flow diagram selection of raw materials grading and sorting washing peeling slicing cutting peating curing blanching can filling lidling or clinching exhausting sealing thermal processing rapid cooling labeling and packaging storage the whole canning process in details selection of raw materials grading and sorting selection of raw materials are done according to the shape size color and maturity as grading and sorting is a first step of canning so the right choice of raw material is very important for the successful canning operation the fruits and vegetables that are chosen should be fresh fruits should be ripe and evenly matured we should avoid the fruits containing blemishes insects and are damaged over ripened fruits yield a poor quality after preliminary sorting fruits and vegetables are graded cherries are graded as whole while mangoes are graded after cutting and slicing generally hands or the grading machines such as screen graders roller graders and etc are used washing After grading and sorting the fruits and vegetables are properly cleaned to remove all the dust mud dirt on it proper cleaning is necessary for avoiding any type of contamination the fruits and vegetables are washed using hot or cold water sprays or they are soaked and agitated in water 
Spray washing is the most effective method of washing. Sometimes vegetables are preferably soaked in dilute potassium permanganate to reduce the microbial load. Peeling Peeling is done to remove the skin of the fruits and vegetables. There are various methods of peeling which are applied in the industry such as hand peeling, mechanical peeling, peeling using heat. For example, flame peeling, lye peeling or steam peeling. Lye peeling Lye peeling is done by dipping the fruits and vegetables in a solution of boiling caustic soda or lye solution of strength 1 to 2 percent for 30 seconds to 2 minutes. Slicing, cutting, peating, coring. According to the need, we apply these operations to get uniform shape and size of the fruits and vegetables which will help in proper heating. The cores and the peats are removed by hand or by machine. Blanching It is a process in which the fruits and vegetables are put into boiling water or treating them with steam for a few minutes and then cooling it to stop the further cooking. Blanching is done to stop the enzymatic activity, to reduce the microbial load and to retain the color better. Hard water should be avoided for blanching. Blanching is done by dipping the raw materials that is the fruits and vegetables in hot water. The temperature remains between 70 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius and the time is 2 to 5 minutes followed by cooling. Can filling. At first the cans are washed properly using hot water or a steam jet. A small amount of syrup or brine is poured and then the fruits or vegetables are placed inside the cans. Can filling can be done by machines or hand filling is also done. Filling liquor. The cans are then filled with the filling liquor. Filling liquor can be sugar syrup, brine solution or oil mixed with spices. The choice of filling liquor depends on the type of the food that we are going to can. The can filling using the filling liquor is done at a temperature of about 79 degrees Celsius to 82 degrees Celsius. A headspace is left which may vary from 0.32 cm to 0.47 cm. These are approximate value and may vary from industry to industry. The main objectives are to enhance the taste, give a cushioning effect to the contents, it may facilitate better heat transfer and the added preservatives help in the preservation process. Leading or clenching The leads of the cans are loosely placed so that the air inside it can escape when it undergoes the exhausting process. There are some disadvantage of this leading process. They are, they may cause the spilling of the contents, toppling of the leads and may cause contamination. Clinching is an advanced process of leading in which the leads are partially seamed. Exhausting. It is necessary to remove all the air from the can before sealing so as to create an anaerobic atmosphere inside the can. The process of removing this air is known as exhausting. The air can be removed by hot water or mechanical method. In industries, the cans are passed through a tank of hot water. Sealing. After exhausting, the cans are sealed immediately to avoid insertion of air using a can sealer. Thermal processing or heat treatment. The sealed cans are commercially sterilized by applying heat at 110 degrees Celsius to 121 degrees Celsius under pressure for a sufficient time so as to kill the index organism which can be present at the center of the cans. In commercial sterilization, instead of killing all the microorganisms, 
we try to kill those microorganisms which can grow in normal storage condition and we try to stop the growth of the other microorganism by creating an inappropriate condition for their growth during canning we target the spore forming mesophilic thermodiuric anaerobic microorganism which can be killed by this heat treatment method the thermophilic and the aerobic microorganism may survive but the cans are kept at room temperature in an airtight condition so the thermophilic microorganism cannot grow in the room temperature and the aerobic microorganism cannot grow in the anaerobic condition that is created inside the cans so canning is known as the commercially sterilized product Commercially sterilization is done to preserve more nutritional value appearance and to save the energy and cost The next step is rapid cooling After the heat treatment the cans are cooled rapidly by placing them in cold water tanks Sometimes cold water sprays are also used labeling the cans are dried and then the labeling is done with all the necessary details storage the cans are packed in cartons and are stored factors affecting the process time of canning microbial load more the microbial load the more time it will take types of microorganism consistency of the filling liquor for example if the filling liquor is thinner then it will facilitate the heat transfer better or we can say faster effect of altitude size of the containers for big size containers it will take more time sterilization pressure temperature of heating types of container for example uh, if the container is made of glass it will take more time effect of cooling type of product that is being canned defects of canned foods swell a can is generally flat or slightly concave but when a can swells due to gas formation as a result of decomposition caused by the microbial or chemical activity the end of the swelled can remains convex and spring back to its position if pressed inward flipper this is due to the mild positive pressure resulted inside the can due to the overfilling or under exhausting springer the one end of the can becomes bulged and on pressing or pushing the other end bulges in the place of the previous one and a can in this condition is known as a springer leakage when contain leaks from a can it occurs due to the faulty seaming or any other mechanical defects of a can or due to corrosion advantages of canning the advantages of canning are it increases the shelf life of the product it makes the product easy to store it is it makes the product easy to open few or no preservatives are required great stability of the product and it is easy to transport this is the flow diagram for the canning of the fruits and vegetable after the cooling there are processes like labeling and storage this is a a flow diagram which shows the canning of a fish thank you for watching and happy learning